Look at that fucking stupid roof rack. I went into, it slipped off. It literally like slipped off. It doesn't matter. That's, that's another thing we have to worry about. We're at the Canby Vancouver week eight. We're just gonna do vampire as slow as we can. We're gonna sit down for, uh, we're like 23rd. So we're gonna like wait here, do it. But before then we're gonna write out vampire cause I think it has legs and I just wanna try it. I'm mentally drained from that roof rack falling. So I just wanna try that. Just literally ate my own blood. Cool. Is this on? Hi. Cool. Good news is uh, uh, the 7-Eleven stuff and the vampire stuff actually worked really well together. I think if I had like uh, more of an audience listening, as you saw, it was pretty chaotic up there. Uh, it would have worked better. I also went up there with like very low cadence. I wasn't as hyper, hyper or jazzed. As I usually, oh my god, there's a fucking dog. I wasn't as hyper as I usually am, or like, I don't know, pumped, I guess. So I think that actually helped a little, to be honest. It's interesting. There's some interesting notes here. I want to do vampire all week, to be honest. Week eight is uh, vampire, vampire, vampire. I know Smash Faces seemed like an opener, but like comedy is always ever changing. And I think this is what we need just to open the show with like a bang. I kind of had a feeling about opening the show with a bang. And the 7-Eleven stuff, that worked out really well. So, uh, oh my God, there's another dog. Maybe I'm just not introducing myself properly to the audience. So I'm still gonna do Vampire today. We're gonna add the yesterday's 7-Eleven stuff with adding some more stuff in between. And uh, we're gonna do Vampire today. So we're gonna work on that. Yeah. Uh oh, the car is good. Yay. You still get people telling you we're on the same level, which is ridiculous, you know? It's usually from uh, a girl named Michelle or Emma who like comes up to me and she's like, oh yeah, I've partied for a week. I went to Shambhala and I did MD, MD me every day. And it made me realize that I should talk to my dad more. And also my boyfriend, Brett, that broke up with me and spit in my face. He's an Aquafina, and I'm like, hmm, that's great, and that's traumatizing, but it wasn't, it isn't comparable to the time where I used to eat my own blood. <laughs> so, okay, okay. We're at our second show, so we're gonna try this again. Same thing, again, we only had five minutes before, we had like 15, that was amazing, um, but we're gonna do it one more time. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired. All right, so things I liked about that set. This, I, I, I really think that this is uh, turning into quite the thing that we're doing where, what's up man? This is quite the thing that we're doing, you know? We're um, changing our entire perspective on our set because before it was Smash Faces, Smash Faces. Now it's Vampire, like this could be the thing. Vampire in like a less gross way, it would still be interesting and funny. I just have to find that creatively, that, 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 that gross way of bringing up Vampire. You know, but the 7-Eleven stuff, that works. The Shambhala stuff, that works, it's working. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. So we're, we're really introducing ourselves. In two sets yesterday, the first set was really cool. We did like a kind of a workshop set. That was a lot of fun. We did 15 minutes, so that's amazing. The second show, sadly, my camera cut out, that sucks. But here's the thing, after two weeks of bombing straight, we finally got one. We finally did a good show. You know, I'm fucking so happy about that. Fuck yeah. And like, honestly, I'm fine with the ending not doing really well in that set. Uh, I wish I had the footage, but I'm okay with that because like Vampire and the 7-Eleven stuff is working. It's working as really well. We just have to, we have to um, get, fix Vampire. We have to make that more relatable. It's there, it's something's there. It's so cool that we started this like with like, what are we gonna do? And now we have something. We have an idea and it could work. So yeah, we're here, we're doing this show. We're gonna try Vampire again, we'll try 7-Eleven again. And uh, I'm recording this one for sure. <laughs> Proud wasn't there, but like, honestly, I felt pretty good about it too. I just have to really get a punchline. Like when I talk about just like eating my own blood, it never clicks. It never clicks whatsoever. But like overall, it's like a good bit, you know? And that's okay. Like it just needs a finisher, honestly. Like it needs something. So like, that's all we have to, talk about I do I didn't get time to like really dive into it like and I was working last time so I'm excited to do that um the other thing I want to do is like what else what else what else Sorry, guys. 
Uh, the other thing too I want to do is uh, there was a time that I, I skipped. There was a beat I skipped where I'm like, uh, being a drug addict, you kind of have to do a lot of drugs, uh, and like I got a big laugh. But I talked, I talked over it, over the laugh. So that was my bad. Um, but vampire, you know, I just need to finish it. I need to do it more. Uh, but that's what this week's about. So yeah, overall not a bad set, honestly. I feel pretty good. Last week it kind of sucked. I was bombing a lot, but. We are rejuvenated just because we did well yesterday. We did okay today, so that's the awesome thing too. You have to find a finisher for this joke. Like, that's the thing. Uh, but we're gonna be working on that uh, this week. We're gonna write, thanks. Cool.